with you right here? The, oh, no, no, so you, that's just the design okay, concept. Okay, okay. We're hoping to get a prototype with the money that we use. Okay, so it, I didn't fully understand. So it was, it's sort of like an old-fashioned sort of a, a Actually, crank. yeah, the technology goes back to World War II and the crank readers. You've seen those right. movies, they're sitting there in the field, pick up the telephone. And so it's it's made a resurgence because the LED uses a very little light, or yeah. very little power. Yeah. So it's coming back into these devices. And okay. make, in fact, here's one right here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Long, this is a, this okay. Is, this yeah, is where the yeah. inspiration came from. Yeah, we have like some camping flashlights like yeah. that, you know, Perfect. or backpacking camp flashlights. Yeah, and, and yeah. fortunately, for, you know, looking at someone's eyes or ears, you don't need to be in there for 20, 30 mm -hmm. minutes. You're mm -hmm. in there for a couple seconds. So it's actually a perfect modality for what we're okay. using it for. Okay. So you talked about your test in, in Fiji, right? A beautiful place, by the way. Do you, do you have a connection to Fiji? Yes, or? in fact, uh, one of my, two of my colleagues there, we, we both did a medical mission during oh, our residency okay. training. And it's a, a local foundation here that sends physicians and other health practitioners to uh, these remote islands that have no electricity. Yeah. Um, so we went out there and we'd screen hundreds of patients. And oh, if, wow. if there was something wrong, we'd put them on a boat, send them to the mainland. And I thought this would be a great environment to use it because there are cell phone towers there mm -hmm. that we could harness. Mm -hmm. So if we did have a problem, we could potentially send the information to the mainland. Okay. Have a specialist there and look at whatever we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Give us some information and say, oh no, that's no big deal. That's just a typical looking eye. Because mm -hmm. specialists mm -hmm. do have some place in this. And as um, sort of general practitioners, we're the front line to find out who needs to be triaged to the right person. And this okay. device is perfect for that. So, yeah, especially for, for third world countries where you're out in the middle of nowhere. But, but in order to use the camera device that you talked about, you'd have to have a cell phone tower of sorts. Right, like and they're there. there. So, yeah. like, for instance, on these so, islands that had no electricity, they still had a... Uh, they had a cell, cell phone, phone tower, tower and okay. they walked around the cell phones. Yeah, but if you went to Africa, for example, you... Actually, you're not... Actually, actually, I, I don't everyone know. has cell phones. Oh, they, okay, yeah. okay. We, okay. we actually so, check the cell phone. It's really yeah. the cell phone infrastructure is wider than electricity infrastructure because okay. for electricity, you think about it, yeah. it's a lot more difficult rather than radio versus cell phone towers that are powered by solar and diesel, mm -hmm. which are huge mm -hmm. now. So there's actually more cell phone towers and actually you'd be surprised at how many people have cell phones. I yeah, mean, you know, you're right. I, yeah. I think you're right because um, you know certain countries, for example, I, I do a lot of business in Turkey. And you know there, they are, sleep in there are more cell phones <laughs> there probably than yeah well <laughs> but yeah they sleep in Turkey that's yeah. true <laughs> well actually that's we, that's I'm a partner in a textile factory oh. there so yeah mm -hmm. so the reverse yeah but um, uh, anyway but there's a lot of cell phones in countries like that probably because you know they're you know who knows their land lines are terrible it's very difficult to get a regular phone yeah. line. Um, and so it's easier to erect these, it, these Yeah, it terrible. is, yeah. So, um, okay. Well, I was kind of interested because you are, you're, you're not marketing necessarily, I know that eventually you probably will market in the U.S., right? That's right. But, Let's just start field it, testing. Okay. So, so that was a little confusing to me. So sure. is the, the U.S. your primary Absolutely. focus Absolutely. or is export your primary no, no, focus? Our primary focus is in the United States. We're using uh, Fiji as, because we have connections okay. there. It's easy to get it through the okay. government. Yeah. And uh, we're hoping to harness that interconnection to test it there and then come back to the United States with some data and say, look, you know, mar real market data for mm -hmm. the consumers mm -hmm. to see. Look, we've mm -hmm. tested it in this remote island. It works beautifully out there. We've sent images to a okay. remote location. It's certainly going to work in the United States. Okay. Um, and, and we're certainly, you know, leveraging your technology because, you know, it could be used in the United States in rural areas, remote areas, mm -hmm. natural disasters. I mean, uh, even with Hurricane uh, Sandy in New York City, shut down one of the oldest sure, hospitals, yeah, you know. So yeah. certainly this technology can be used mm -hmm. for that. Even when cell, phone, cell phones, you know, during the Sandy Eagle blackout, mm -hmm. not sure of how many of you are here, 
but my cell phone was working, but there's no electricity. Yeah. So this is a device that is absolutely essential, not only for emergencies, but actually for daily, for daily use. And there, there will be models that make sense more for daily use. Okay. And you said um, that your competitors uh, use either, uh, well, battery, uh, no, no, gee, I'm, I'm mixing up. So right now in, in offices, they either have a battery or they have a, a long the coil, right. right? Okay. Right. Yeah. And so, it's, again, 100 years of no refinement. Oh, yeah. And that's I, true. I went with, bought with, one with, from eBay. That yeah, was an old, yeah, actually, yeah, a 1900 yeah. model. And then the current model. That is, so, that's amazing. And people ask us, so how, how come you guys It's an overlooked medical device, it sounds like, that, you know, or they just couldn't find a better way. And yeah. now this is, you know, well, you seems know, like a better way. Yeah, yeah, and he gets the credits out doing yeah, Well, you know, the, the thing is, is that, you know, a lot of people ask us, why now? And I said, why not now? Because you got cellular technology, components are smaller now, mm -hmm. you got LED technology that can all be powered by the volts produced by right, this dynamo. Right. You know, that, that couldn't happen five years ago. You yeah. know, we even have LED, OLED screens now. We're not using LED screens, we're using organic LED screens that are bendable, smaller, use a lot less power, and actually more clear. So, so this is the time to harness these technologies and really put it into something that makes sense, yeah. you know. And, and you know, the medical field, we do, we do things that we've done for 100 years. It doesn't make yeah. sense. Yeah. That's why there was an you know, Institute of Medicine report of medical errors that there are, you know, one out of three people have a medical error when they go to the hospital. And fast forward almost, what, 15 years later, uh, 20 years, we are still facing medical errors, you know? So, yeah. you, know, you know, doctors and nurses and everyone, they do things because they've done it for a long time. But we're also starting to realize that there's a newer generation of physicians, a new generation of nurses, and there's a newer generation of things like medical records that we just have to embrace. And, and yeah. I think we want to ride the wave, you know, and, and kind of be like what Tom Breitling said, be one of the first people there and then establish yourself. Are you patented or patent pending? Patent pending. So not just okay. on that device, we actually did a buckshot approach and got 26 different devices uh, oh, from good. blood pressure cuffs to Google okay. So we're not a company okay. just based off okay. of it. Not good. just for, not good. Just good. for okay. practitioners, also for ladies. Because that was my next question, yeah. scalability. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what's, what's, what's the next thing? You know, what are you going to do? Yeah. 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 And, and, yeah. and we're actually looking, one of the other uh, people asked us, are you just twist? What if something comes out with solar? Yeah. Well, we actually even patented wind. Yeah. You know, I and mean, you look at it and like, how is wind power? <laughs> but you never know. Two years from now, someone's going to come oh. out with a little thing that flips up. <laughs> I can you know? think really bad yeah. things. Yeah. 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 So, so we, 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 we went above and beyond. And we said, what other things, what other green renewable things are there? We are sticking I'm in the pattern. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Looks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So, um, how many are practicing? Practicing physicians, you are. Yes, yes, yes. You, you too. Okay, in San Diego. Or? Yes, yes. Okay. So, what? Who's the connection to USD? I am. Oh, so you're the student. Yes. Okay. And you're you're the. the I oversee all the operations, the marketing, marketing. Okay. and make sure that Eco Clinics run smoothly. Yeah, well, you have a big job. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, I have to hire a few people yeah. to help you market. Absolutely. She does. She she makes everything. She makes. She even made everything here go. You know, I mean, we we're busy. We yeah, we, we try to keep on the brains. You know. Then, yeah, and, and, but she makes everything go. She links everything. Okay. And uh, also a part of our initial marketing. She used to work for Clear Channel as well. Oh, okay. And for she's a communications companies. major, okay. so uh -huh. we're kind of leveraging and harnessing her mm -hmm. like we are some of these tools to help us, you know, even be that much stronger. So as far as expansion and, and actually sale, sales, do you, so do you have any devices ready to go right now as we speak? Or, or no. no. So no. you're... So you're looking for funding to actually develop your first product. And exactly. Then, okay. But you know, to our token, for a company that hasn't had any uh, device to market, we have two very reputable firms that have joined us because they love the idea so much. Nice. To get WSGR, mm -hmm. to take an equity stake in our company, mm -hmm. to get a company like Bridge Design that has a huge mm -hmm. product portfolio to right. develop. They came on to us and they said, we want to get involved in this. That's awesome. They believe yeah. it. We were yeah. both blown away. Yeah, because that's, that's your... Ticket into the, That's right. know, and the, we're, the we're hospitals and the doctors' network. offices. Exactly. And, yeah. Both those companies have a huge network of uh, other business people, manufacturers, mm -hmm. investors. So we're harnessing them, and they're sort of maybe taking advantage of us to get themselves out there as well. But it's yeah. a it's a symbiotic relationship. And, and, and we're we're in the perfect environment, and literally this is the epicenter for life sciences, technology, and wireless. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 
And uh, one of our one of our actually former mentors is Dr. Eric Topol, and uh, you know we we want to be able to use our networks to get you know assistance and incubation where we can. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so you know um, I think that with our networks here we're really in the epicenter. Um, I, I think we can really achieve that, and we certainly have a lot of passion. Do you know the Qualcomm well. people? In fact, it's funny. I just oh. sold my apartment to one of his contacts oh. who reports to Paul Jacobs at Qualcomm okay. and we were talking about wireless medicine to him to send yeah. me an article. So the okay. networks are amazing. Okay, because I, mean, I, I have a lot of contacts. Do? Yeah. I have a lot more contacts. Yeah. 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 And, and you know, we were thinking of joining Evo Nexus, which has Qualcomm Labs there. Uh -huh. and, and certainly we do want to get ourselves plugged in because if you if you are doing anything wireless or life sciences mm -hmm. and you don't plug yourself into Qualcomm Labs, you're you're probably kidding yourself. Right. So right. absolutely. No, if I can get your card, we'd love that. Okay. Yeah, we'd love to hear that.